one, two, slip, drop, right? Pivot up, pivot up, keep that body, up. No. Two, drop, jab, one, two, drop. On the, right back in the space, pop, up. Good, hands up, jab, jab, one, two, drop, keep that body. Right, up. Okay. Walk, walk a little bit, right? Walk, he steps in, hard jab. No, 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 hard jab. Just step, left foot, left foot. Hop, right, just keep your way. There you go, move, catch your wind, boom, right. Step in and out, though. Quicker on my out. In and out. There we go. Okay. Right. Walk right into it. Here. Good. Look low, come up. Right. Again, just sit here, you're here. Look low, boom, right up. Just step with that front foot. So you're leaving, you're leaving. Right. Up, yeah. One more time. In and out. Fast. Ha. Two. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Give me that one, two, three here. Big. Now. Out. Hard. Two, three. Up. Then circle off. Walk away. Yeah. Ha. Yeah. So one, two, three. Dig the body. Out. Hard. Two, three. Big. Big. Now move. Walk off. That's it, walk, off that rope, off that rope, step in, up jab, up. One more time, in and out, just your front foot, up. There you go. Double, up, up. That's it, hard, fast jab, go, fast, good. So, one, two, three, take that body. Up, hard, two, three, up. Good, good, jab, up, up jab, up. One more time, drop your level board, up jab, there we go. One, two, one, speed. Ha. Everything's hard. Keep them up. One, two, one, speed. Ha, ha, ha. That's it. Jeff. Jeff. One, two, one. Go on. Speed. Ha, ha, ha. Now give me that one, two, one. Slip. Hit that body. Boom. So one, two, one. Right. Throw, slip, dip. Right. Up. Out. Jeff. Sit. Shoulder back, please square to me. Shoulder back. One, two, one, slip. Hey, out, out, out. Come on, double them up. Out. Chin down. Out. One, two, one. Out, out, slip. Hey, out, out, out. Double, right here. Out, out. Good. Press. Can I get you guys thoughts on um, how do you see Joshua versus Usyk 2 playing out, man? Too much different from the left from the first fight. So you think honest. it's you think it's gonna be all Usyk pretty much? I think he's just too fast. Just boxes too well, angles too well. Even with um, even with Joshua teaming up with Robert Garcia too. No. I'm not. You, you're gonna go back to your instincts. You've been with him for how long? You know what I mean? I mean you've been boxing for how many years? Going to a new coach, new camp. How much are you gonna really change once shit hits the fan? You're gonna go back to what your normal, what your body reacts to. It's difficult to just pick up new tricks and you may pick them up in training, but all of a sudden, like I said, once it's in there and you're in the heat of the moment, your body's gonna go back to what you're natural, what you're used to at all times. Gotcha. It's hard to just go somewhere and then 10 week camp, I'm gonna reinvent myself and X amount of weeks. I think he just made the mistake of trying to lose weight in his first fight. I tried to box with him instead of just, and try to, you know, you gotta make it look ugly with that guy. But you're 6'5", 250, right. and you fucking boxing a fucking ass 220, right. as a cruiserweight, that's, Once I, I already mean, lost weight and was trying to, you know, to be faster or whatever. Respect, so to, to me, game, but you're now going down into his, more his level of what he likes to do on a boxing. But um, but, but Adam, do you agree with him though? You think it's gonna be all Usyk again, or? I don't know, I think, well, depends if he comes in and trying to focus his head off, it might be different. Because if he tries to like, box him again, it's gonna be the same, it's gonna be a repeat. Right. But it, like the but war it, in Ukraine, you gotta see where Usyk's head is at. Right. It's fucking... That's the thing too, you just never know where anybody's head really is at. But is, it, is, is he back to really try to win? Is he back for another payday and right off into the sunset? 
You never know what really goes on behind closed doors. You never know, but if both you guys have to put your money on somebody. I'm going to Usyk. You're going to Usyk? Who you going with? I don't know. I'm going to Asia. No, you got to get your pick, man. We ain't going to let you ride the fence, man. Right? Going with AJ? Okay. I got you. I don't know what to tell you. Can't go against Usyk after his last performance. I, I can't. He's I told you. I, don't, I just don't see so much changing in such a little amount of time. How? how? Usyk's up there, but I don't. I think. But you don't know where. Again, his head and with everything going on right. in the world, who knows? It's so hard to be able to predict predict things. Like I said, here's Joshua coming off a few losses. Whatever. Where's his head at? Yeah. Are you really into boxing, or are you here for one more payday? And then right off into a sun. You, you just don't know what really goes on in someone's head. Yeah. So I got, like I said, I got to go with Usyk after his, the last performance. I don't know. I, I just think he'll outbox him again. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Out. But you definitely got to make that fight an ugly fight. You, you, you sit there and try to stay and tick for tat with him, you, you're not winning. Right. That's what, that's what you gotta put, right. I mean, you gotta, you, right. who's gonna win, we're like, you gotta put your body on him, push him around, just make that shit look ugly. Is that how you would fight him, man? Um, um, Adam, is that how you would fight him? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the only way I fight, yeah, it's top forward and bang, so. You, you see all these things we're going right now, up under, trying to angle off? Yeah. Uh, Ho hopefully some of that happens in a fight, and then all of a sudden it's, come here, motherfucker, let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully we do it longer for a longer period. This guy wants to get in there and fucking headbutt for headbutt. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Out. Right. Two, three. Up. 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 You have two kids, Double. man. You might, you might have to change a little bit. So does that mean? Does that mean the killer instinct is going a little bit? I'm telling you, right now you got to come to school. So Keith has always went to college and <laughs> those, bills get, those bills get expensive. Again, at the end of the day, that natural instinct takes over. He's, he still has that killer instinct in him. When you get smacked in your face, you, that doesn't go away. <laughs> you gotta just be smarter about it and when to bring out that killer instinct instead of just going for the shooting for the mountains right off the bat and swinging for fucking, you know, but that killer instinct is still there. And you need a killer instinct in a heavyweight division. If you don't have a killer instinct, you you can't be in a heavyweight division. Overall. Right. Well, even in boxing, but guys can be slick and move and whatever, littler guys stay away from you. But heavyweights, you gotta have that killer instinct. Can I get you guys thoughts on um, how do you see um, Andy Ruiz versus I'm um, Luis Ortiz playing out, yeah. Good How you see it though? I know you was you was linked to um to Ruiz a lot, so. Yeah, yeah. hopefully he wins. Hopefully I win as well. Later in next year. How do you um how do you see him fighting? How do you see the fight against um, Ortiz playing out though? Ortiz well, an old you know old cat, old fox, slicky. I mean, his fight was against Martin was shot a couple of times. Came out and uh, hurt him, knocked him out. So definitely got some. He's a fox, you know. But if you had to pick some way to win, I mean, Luis is, is obviously still dangerous, older guy. Ruiz is, you know, former champion. But how would you see it playing out, though? Uh, I hate making predictions. Man. Who would you lean towards? Not even a prediction. Ruiz. Who would, Luis? Yeah, 55 45 Ruiz. Okay, got it. <laughs> Still on the 
bad, go up and down afterwards. Right. Still keep that movement. Gotta become more second nature. Drop it, drop it. After you throw, you move it. Keep that body moving. Don't just stand straight up. I'm not gonna ask for a game plan, obviously. That's always a really dumb question. But um, what are some of the things that your, upcom your upcoming opponent does really well that you have to kind of watch out for? He actually tries to cut angles. So you just gotta be aware. He likes to cut over to his right a lot. You actually gotta be aware of him. He seems to hit people in the back of the head when he does do, do it. But uh, you see, I mean, comes forward, he looks to, looks to fight. But he will, like I said, try to cut an angle here or there, not just sit in front of you. Gotcha. Adam, anything that he does in the ring that you just think, you know, you have to watch out for this, you have to watch out for that, or is it just his total package? Yeah, tough. Comes forward. Fast hands pretty much. Uh, former Olympians has a lot of amateur experience. Yeah, it's a good test, you know. Uh, I said before, like, you know, in the press uh, meeting, Oh, I'm rather than have a division, I've got to win this fight, so I've got to win this fight. <laughs> I gotta ask you that the you know about the mega fight that could be happening, should be happening anyways between Crawford and Spence, yeah, man. Can't wait, man. <laughs> How do you see that fight playing out, man? I'm a big Earl Spence fan, man. I like what he fights. I like his style, so I hope I will win. Is 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 that the biggest fight in boxing right now, man? I think so. Definitely. 
and you would say, I, I know you said that you, you hope that Errol wins, but... I mean, there's so many big fights though, yeah, so, I mean, that's on the break of being made. So you have that, I mean, Fury or the winner of AJ Ustek would be huge. Uh, what would be the... Oh. Charlo versus, you know, uh, Benavidez would be huge. I mean, there's so many great fights. I don't know if I can know. Like, so many good boxing fights and boxing being made, it's just... So let's go down the list, man. If you had to make it, well, you said you don't really like making predictions, yeah. so I won't put you on the spot. <laughs> but if you had to, you know, say, okay, this person has 55, the other person has 45, who would you go with with Crawford and Spence? Who has 55, who has 45? I like Spence. All right. What about um, Usyk versus, well, Usyk, Joshua Winner versus Tyson Fury? Uh, Fury, he's just a good. I mean, I think so. I think. Uh, Fury has better chance against Usyk than he has against uh, AJ. I feel like uh, when he fought Otto, we got a box, it gave uh, Tessie Fury some problems, you know? Got it, makes sense. So, so but when he faced Usyk, he's gonna lay on him, you know? With his body on him, until we... Uh, do you think fight. Do you think Usyk's just boxing ability overall can negate some of that size, or is it just too That'll be much? Tough, man. Just, that's what he does, man. I remember he, when he fought uh, Steve Cunningham, I was, I was on the card, and he just... Just lay out him for fucking six rounds. Hey, Cunningham did get the knockdown though. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he just he's like, all right, cool. He got on the floor. He got up, lay out him for six, seven rounds, and just <laughs> he was exhausted. Outside of yourself, is there anybody that you do see beating Tyson Fury if he was to quote unquote unretire? Well, yeah, he's retired right now, right? So, uh, it's tough, man. I mean, and it's, it's, it's the heavyweight division, so. Uh, so to say, but like with Tyson Fury getting off like from the Deontay Wilder shots, it's it's hard to keep them, that man down, you know. <laughs> Glad you mentioned Deontay, man. You know he he is kind of talking about making a comeback. Um, where do you see him in the in the heavyweight landscape? Take Tyson Fury out of the mix, he's quote unquote retired. Where do you see Deontay? Do you think he's actually better than than Joshua? Do you think he could beat him? Usyk? He's got that power, man. He got the right hand that puts a lot of people to sleep. So. I mean, it's, I guess the question of landing on, you know, like when he fought Ortiz, Ortiz was winning the second fight, so he got caught that right hand, and that's all she wrote, you know? Do you think Deontay, if, if Deontay Wilder fought Usyk, how would that kind of go about in the ring? I don't know, but you have to see if you could land that right hand. I think it's a good night for Usyk. If Usyk is able to outbox him, I mean, Usyk has a huge chance of winning. I mean, like pound for pound, Usyk is probably the top, Three top two, you know, the top half of our fighter. Who's your number one right now? Half uh, Yeah, I think we're gonna lose it, yeah. Best fighter in the world to you. Not Crawford. But boxing wise, I mean, you know, I mean, Crawford is, is great, good, but like, his competition was like, you know, very picky. I don't think he has four of the top guys in uh, Rosary. I mean, he would, he's. Great fighter, but like I want to see him fight like the Errol Spences, the Keith Thurman's, you know. I mean, is, is, is he fought Sean Porter like towards the end of his career. So, I mean, what's what's the biggest biggest win apart from Sean Porter? I mean, uh, probably Mean Machine at one forty seven. Right. Yeah, that would probably be his biggest win. Is right. is that the reason why you think? Um, you're leaning towards Spence in that showdown because yeah. of the competition? Yeah, definitely. Is what is it so you can't just like look at the eye test and be like, okay, Crawford is great? Because from what I've seen, I've seen a lot of people taking Crawford over Spence. But for you, you're taking Spence because of the competition. I like, yeah, that and I like Spence, man. It's a cool cat. Gotcha. And just my last thing, because you actually brought it up, man. How would a David Benavidez go? How would that fight go against him, against um, Jamal Charlo at 168? Okay. I see your eyes lighting yeah, up already, man. Yeah, it's a great fight, man. Like you said, like, there's so many good fights that could be made in the, you know, in the in boxing. So uh, so hopefully that fight gets made. I mean, Benavidez is a different animal. You know, he keeps coming, just throwing punches. Uh, would Benavidez have the edge just because of the size? Because, you know, Charlo would have to move up. Well, yeah, yeah, I think that would be a big factor but Charles is a monster too you know he's a very good fighter so just uh you know bang him out you know have these fights have the fights that the fans want to see and uh bring boxing back to you know uh it's prime time when it was how big it was in the 70s gotcha thank you man